The new European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, has unveiled her proposed list of commissioners. They'll face the scrutiny of the European Parliament before they're confirmed. EPP Group Chairman Manfred Weber comments on the lineup what it means for the future of the EU, and what role the EPP group will play in the confirmation hearings as the largest political force in Parliament. During the campaign, we as EPP, we promised to make a gender-balanced commission and so, and also a geographically balanced commission. And both, both uh, promises uh, are now fulfilled. So Ursula von der Leyen's proposal is giving a clear idea that we have now the first gender-balanced commission in office. Uh, and we will have uh, uh, also a good understanding for the problems in the south, in the east, in the center of the European Union. All fields, all regions of Europe are uh, covered. The EPP will send uh, nine commissioners uh, to, the, to the team, to the new college. Uh, and uh, with the nine colleagues, we guarantee that in all future orientated issues, EPP will be present. So budget, research, health, also migrants, migration, future of Europe, democracy, a lot of important fields where EPP commissioners will lead the development for the next years. And that's why we can deliver on what we promised during the campaign. The European People's Party will make a fair assessment in all the candidates uh, which are now presented by Ursula von der Leyen. That means that uh, everybody can convince us during the hearings but they must also convince us, so they must be probably, she and he must be probably prepared for the job, for the responsibilities. That is what the Europeans expect from us. Mm -hmm.